So we have a sprinkler head that's uh, constantly leaking even though sprinkler timer is at an off position. Uh, this is what you need to do. If you look at it carefully, it's not leaking much. However, over time, this area is just uh, collecting a lot of water. So what you need to do is Step one is to go and uh, uh, find out which zone this one is and um, this particular one is zone number four. So let's go take a look on your sprinkler timer which line or the electrical line to the solenoid is. It should be color coded. So let's go take a look. So this is the sprinkler timer uh, for this house. So this map says zone four is in the back. So after opening this, you can see that zone four is black wire. So what you need to do is go over to the uh, green manifold box and then find out which one has a black wire. Okay, see you in a sec. So as we know, each uh, solenoid has uh, two wires. One is for the common, and one is to the specific zone that relates to the timer. So uh, there is no uh, right and wrong way for which wires to go where. Just one has to go to the common, the other one has to hook up. So when I looked at it over here, this one is hooked up to number four, one wire of the solenoid, and the other one is hooked up to the common where it's all grouped together. So what I need to do is, uh, if it's leaking constantly, constantly, a small amount of at a time, so what we need to do is uh, take apart the upper portion of it, and then get into the inside of it and change the diaphragm out okay so this particular one is an orbit and I just happen to have a orbit diaphragm so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that uh, best way to do this is just get a Phillips push it down so you don't strip it and then go counterclockwise all of them all the way around one at a time if it helps, you can go ahead and remove the solenoid out of the way by unscrewing it counterclockwise so that you can get to the screw better. Okay, let's see if I can do that first. Uh, before we start messing around with that, we need to make sure the water is off on the vacuum breaker. So water is on, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off temporarily. Go back to the valve box and go ahead and relieve the pressure a little bit like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and keep turning relieve the pressure like this okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and keep turning that water is shut off so it's gonna go ahead and come out of there and I'm gonna go ahead and place the solenoid nicely over there make sure that we don't lose any parts then I'm gonna go ahead and get the Phillips and then start unscrewing every one of them alrighty I'll be right back Okay, this is a particular brand, which is Orbit. I have uh, loosened uh, all the screws around. I'm going to go ahead and remove this plunger type handle. And I unscrewed all of them. And then I just shake it off a little bit like that. Making sure they're all unscrewed properly. Okay, let me unscrew first. 
me okay I have unscrewed all completely I thought I did but let's see if there's some more okay slowly take it out there will be spring right inside there can you see the spring okay so make sure you and then a little uh, small pin that's attached to the plunger so make sure you don't lose any of these okay this one's uh, draining water a really long time so we're gonna go ahead and remove this looks like a lot of water stain and I'm sure this is a original diaphragm so that probably weathered cracked somewhere if you look at it closely so just to make sure that it's the right part this particular one do not have the uh, tab here but overall this portion and then a back side is matching so it's uh, good to go make sure there's a hole in the center for this particular model and then what I like to do is just go ahead and put your finger in there and just kind of clean it out make sure there's no, no dirt on it sometimes there will be metal shavings or pieces of plastic stuck in there kind of inspect that to make sure it's all clear and then now what you gotta do is go ahead and put it together this particular uh, instance the uh, heads are a little bit higher than the, where the manifold valve is so it took a while to completely drain the water out so as you can see another orbit right next to that and this is the one with the problem and there's other types right here that's a hunter brand and you only have a four screws and they will have a slightly different kinds of diaphragm but basically it works the same way Un uh, shut the water off bleed the water out and then start unscrewing and then put the new valve in oh sorry the diaphragm and then uh, go ahead and install it again and after you unscrew uh, everything in make sure you tighten every one of the nuts I mean screws okay everything is put back together and I test it out and there's no more leak uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, diaphragm that came out the inside looks okay uh, there's a little bit of wear kind of being old the rubbers are kind of falling apart and this uh, black portion right here it has a big uh, depression from uh, usage other than that there's uh, no other obvious sign of wear cases like this probably the best way to do it is just go in and replace the diaphragm this one's about five dollars save a lot of headache trying to figure out anyway this one is uh, good to go thanks for tuning in